Hey everybody, a long time no see. Um, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have been MIA on making content in a very long time. I mean, I've put up a vlog here or there, but since about, I would say August, September, I really haven't posted any content content, and I kind of stopped making makeup content. I'm I want to come back to making content two times a week, however, this video has to be made before I do that. Um, it's kind of like a life update, uh, what's happening, what has happened, the hell of a year I had last year, or end of the year, and what's been happening kind of like the first three months of this year. So um, yeah, I just wanted, I want to post this and then I just want to kind of move on, but I just feel like you guys... For those of you who have been following me and subscribed to me for a while, kind of deserve this video because I just went like, bye, see ya, and then I was like, I'm coming back, and then I was like, no, just kidding, I'm not. Um, so for those of you who are new, this will probably not make any sense to you, but enjoy it anyways. Um, but for those of you who have been following me for a while, thank you so much for your continued support. I've had a lot of you reach out to me just like, you know, where are you at? What's going on? Are you okay? So I really appreciate that, and I just want you guys to know I am okay. I just just had so much stuff going on that I kind of just I just you know what I mean if you know what I mean is enough to say so I have tried to film this video by the way for like months and like I go to sit down to film it and then I'm like no mm. at like literally several times and I'm like no I hate it I'm not doing it and I get up and like I don't want to do it or I get really emotional or really upset and then like I don't want to do it and I get up so this time this time we're gonna finish it but also PSA I'm sick so if my voice goes in and out that is why I don't know if I have bronchitis again <laughs> I was tested for the flu I was tested for COVID all of them are negative so hopefully we find out what's going on with me but pretty sure it's common cold bronchitis situation um and I'm a smoker so it doesn't make it any better it makes it worse I'm trying like trying to stay on topic here um Steven and I <laughs> are getting a divorce and I don't laugh because it's funny it's not funny I just um I laugh because like it's uncomfortable <laughs> um we're getting a divorce we're currently separated he has a new apartment um in Baltimore City and I'm still here in the house currently renting it with the kids yeah so <laughs> Uh, in September is when the decision was made I'm not really gonna go into too much detail I may later down the road but like I just like not right now like I'm just not comfortable to do that right now um it it wasn't like a good terms kind of thing like I know I see some people get on here and they're like yeah you know we just decided that's not how it went down so like I just kind of want to mm, you know I'm just doing a lot of healing from the 10 years that I was married uh January 28th of 2023 was actually our 10 year anniversary. Um, we got married at the courthouse, but we had our physical wedding April 20th of 2023. So this year would have been 10 years. I actually started dating him when I was 16 years old, turning 17. Um, and yeah, so it definitely rocked me. Uh, this, ooh, you know, but, but I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I might get emotional, right? I'm just like chill. It was really rough at first, like really rough. Like I shut down. Like you guys know if you're not new that um, I already have like issues with anxiety and depression. The more into this separation that I'm in, the more I realize that I think a lot of my anxiety and depression came from my marriage, which um, is not easy to say. I do. I love Steven. He is the father of four of my beautiful children for I only have four um he's the father of my beautiful children it's just it's different it is different when you have been with somebody forever and um and now you're not I've just had to do a lot of healing and I needed to kind of do that like off camera on my own time just to kind of have that space because I don't mind sharing with you guys I love sharing my life with you guys but when it happens like right right then it's just like I have to take a step back so it just our marriage was far from perfect and I know like some people I've actually had many people go oh my god you do look you just look so happy and I'm like well that's kind of how it always is isn't it you know we always look happy but nobody posts 
on social well I guess some people do but nobody really goes on social media and goes hey I'm miserable in my marriage and my spouse is doing this or doing that or has done this or has done that and so it's just not you know so when people are like oh my god I'm so surprised it's just like it kind of comical to me because it's like did you really think that like people were gonna post about that I guess because some people do post that kind of stuff but I can honestly sit here and tell you though it was very rough and I still find days where I do struggle just because things have changed so drastically in my life you know when you you end a marriage or a relationship that's been going on for so long like you don't even have to be married you know you were somebody for since 16 I'm almost 33 it's just like it's a big change you know your future plans change your current plans change it's just it was a lot but the more that I'm going through it and the more that I'm healing I am finding myself and kind of like realizing that this was probably the best decision and I was just too afraid to do it so I'm kind of like in that area right now where I'm accepting it I'm learning to love myself and show myself unconditional love and mercy and grace and all of the things because for a while after it wasn't very uh pleasant when it happened um and then it was okay and then in January it became unpleasant again so I mean that's kind of just like the gist of my entire marriage is if you know what I mean um and unfortunately as much as I care for my spouse you know he has some mental health issues that he has to work out on his own and I cannot be the one to fix those so it's gonna be like this for a very long time unfortunately until he decides to get the help that he requires however I am taking it upon myself to I have a lot of healing to do I had a lot of accountability because at first I wanted to be like oh you 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 did all this to me you did all this to me I had to take a step back and say you know you did do this to me and me taking accountability doesn't excuse anything you ever did which I'm not gonna get into detail maybe one day not today but taking accountability is like I let you do that to me had I loved me more, had I had I loved myself unconditionally and respected myself and had boundaries, I would have stopped this from getting to this point. We would never have been to where we, we probably would have never been married, if I'm being honest with you, okay? But I um. didn't. So I had to take accountability that I allowed it to get this far, but then I also had to forgive myself. I'm real big on, you know, forgiving other people because, like, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt them, it hurts me, but during that process of forgiving I forgot to forgive myself and it's like you hold that resentment on yourself when you allow people to hurt you but at the end of the day you have to take the accountability I let it happen it did happen but I forgive me I forgive me and I'm gonna be okay so that that is the biggest life update uh, <laughs> big enough so like from September September is when it happened so like now has been like Huh. This weekend was my first weekend without my children. Um, I ate dinner alone for the first time Friday since I've had my son and he is 14 years old. That part's gonna get me emotional. That has probably been like the biggest part is like when you get a divorce and you have kids, like kids are involved, it's tricky because you're so used to being with your kids like all the time, you know, and having dinner with them and like it's great and people are like, oh my god, but you're gonna have so much fun. You know you get a break and like I do and I did slowly start to be okay with it but it was that first night when I came home because I, I work two jobs now which I'll get into it was that first night when I came home I'm so used to coming home and just hearing the chaos I have four kids in a very small place and a dog and a cat okay and it was so quiet it was so quiet <laughs> that um oh, god damn it it was so uncomfortable because it was so quiet my house has never been that quiet like <laughs> if you have kids you know right it's never quiet um so I had to turn like the washer on while I was eating dinner and then I got really sad and my two-year-old my two-year gosh she's three my three-year-old and my seven-year-old sleep with me um in bed currently yeah I don't want to hear it and uh that was rough. I had to put like pillows on against my back to um, almost like feel as if they were there. I know that it'll get better. I know that it'll get easier, but it just like, uh, I never planned to have to go days without being with my kids. And that I think of 
like all of it. It's one of those things where I sit there and I'm like, you know what more can this person take from me? And they're like, I got one more thing. I'm gonna take the kids a couple days a week, which I know it's good for them. He loves them. They love him. But like, whoo, it was rough. I mean, I'm doing okay now. Saturday, I rearranged my living room, but it's, it was definitely probably one of the hardest parts of this entire situation is the kids and like making sure that they know their love that, you know, this situation, it changes, but it doesn't change things like we're still a family dad and I still get along for the most part you're gonna be going to dad's on the weekends and mom's Monday through Friday morning so I do get that most of the week which is nice because I mean he lives so far away from their schools doing like every other week or whatever it's just it's too complicated I don't want to put my kids through that and if that works for some people then that does but I just feel like I want my kids to have consistency and stability so he takes them on the weekends and like in the summertime it might be different where I'm like okay go ahead and take them during the week but when it comes to school and stuff I want them to have consistency I want them to be here bedtime here go to school their schools are literally like right up the street I'm trying to just like think of everything um my cruise that's coming up so my ex is obviously not going on the cruise with me um it's gonna be my cousin she's coming with me instead my cousin Amber you've seen her in my vlogs my cousin Troy my brother and my sister-in-law Jess um you've seen all of them on my vlogs I'm sure but it was supposed to be for our 10 year anniversary and um I still wanted I still wanted like that like not for our anniversary but I still wanted him to go he did not want to go um he did not want to go so I said that's okay you know I'll switch it no big deal so I switched it my cousin was able to go I had to pay a little bit more money for her to like just to change the name by the way it was a couple hundred dollars carnival that's fucking ridiculous I know that this is gonna be such an amazing time for me and I absolutely cannot wait just because I need I need this I feel like that seven days and the time that it is and the meaning of it is going to be so freeing to me and I'm so ready for it that like I I cannot wait it's in like 35 days okay 35 34 35 I don't freaking know but it's close I have got I got a new piercing I got my septum pierced um so there's that I'm contemplating on getting tattoos I have no tattoos I've never gotten a tattoo I am terrified but I get needles like through my nose right I'm reading so <laughs> PSA uh, I've never been a reader I am not really into books I if there's a movie I want to watch it if there's audio I want to listen but one of the things like during my healing and stuff that I've been doing is just like changing kind of the things I digest and consume things I think about the music I listen to and so like I have a ton of books that I ordered off of Amazon that I got off of TikTok and I will let you guys know if they're good or not if you want me to but I want to show you this one book I have and it has helped me a lot absolutely helped me a lot and maybe you've seen it because it was very viral on TikTok this one it is called whole again and it's healing your heart and rediscovering your true self after toxic relationships and emotional abuse by Jackson McKenzie and they are the author of psychopath free which I also have right now I'm working on true refuge by Tori Tori something I, I'm, I'll put it across the screen in a picture of it but um I'm working on that one because that's more about mindfulness and so this book kind of touches base on you know using mindfulness as a way to heal from stuff like that and if I'm being honest with you I really I didn't know what mindfulness meant so parts of this is like I'm gonna have to reread that because I don't really know what the fuck that meant in the book he recommends true refuge on how to do like mindfulness so. I've never in my life like I, I know what unconditional love is at, you know towards my children towards my spouse towards other people I've never, I've never thought about the fact that I need to unconditionally love myself. Like, I make mistakes, I go through things, but I can't hold those against me. I wouldn't hold them against somebody else, right? I would tell them, hey, you're a person, you make mistakes, you're loved. So I've had to learn to kind of do that too. Let's see, bad things are happening to me, my life is unfair, I am being betrayed and let down. So basically throughout this book you're learning to unidentify with those things right I'm just gonna just I'm gonna put it here I'll put a link in my bio from Amazon but it was really inexpensive and I, I really love it and I do recommend it it's a very good read but it's basically like I have become 
my wound, what, what this person has done to me, I have become, um, resentful, um, I want revenge, I beat myself up, like, had I done this, had I done that, well, if we just did this, we would have been happy, well, if we were, and it just boiled down to those, or, or, like, finding validation externally, my shopping habits, I learned throughout this that the reason I shop so much is because I did not get the love I required from the person that was promised promised it to me so I found it in other ways shopping etc I got that nice little adrenaline of like happiness um so I've kind of cut back on my shopping as well not 100% I still buy things but not as much like I used to when I tell you I used to shop like I would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on shit I didn't need but like you're basically you learn that like you have to unidentify with the shit that has happened to you and you have to learn to love yourself and look for validation within yourself instead of outside. Like, you know this happened, right? You don't need somebody else to be like, yeah, that happened to you. You don't need that. I don't need that. Nobody needs that. Like, you know your story. You know what happened to you. Whether X, Y, and Z believe you or they don't believe, it doesn't matter. And so, like, I'm just growing and I'm learning and I'm still in the beginning process of it. So there are still days where, like, he might say something to me and I'm like, hmm. Mm. And I'm like, mm -mm. healing, not healed. I saw a TikTok like that. Healing, not healed. I'm trying. It's a process. And I am starting to feel a lot better because I was not okay. I was in a very, very deep depressive state. I wasn't eating. Like, I would eat, like, maybe once a day, if that. Uh, I have lost a total of 15 to 20 pounds, which you would think is good, but not in the way that I was losing it. Like, I just wasn't... <laughs> my body was just shutting down, um, because my my brain was shutting down. My brain was like, mm, we don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> we don't like it. <laughs> Bye-bye. Unfortunately, I lost one of my cousins, so that happened actually recently um she was 24 years old uh her heart she had heart issues and you know unfortunately she passed and that makes me sad because she was so very young and she was a mother and she was a wife so there's just like a lot of things that have been going on that i'm just like i don't want to be here anymore just kidding i'm, I'm okay but not really. My brother moved away, obviously, you guys know that. In October, he's like my best friend. My cousin is still here, thankfully. If she goes anywhere, for the short period of time, like you guys know, I've been working on trying to buy a house by 2024. Well, I was like, oh my God, I'm a single house income. I'm never gonna buy a house. I don't know what I'm doing. And my dad is actually going to hook me up with a realtor and they're gonna tell me what I need to do and everything like that. And I'm still gonna buy a house by 2024. It may not be as extravagant as I could have gotten with a two person income, but or two house income, whatever, two people making money. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a house and it's gonna be big enough for all of us and it's gonna be ours. And I'm so excited for that. And that was the one thing is like, I felt like when he left, he, he took my future, right? I know that sounds dramatic, but if you, if you have been through this, then you know what, I, you know what I mean? Like it, it almost felt like it was taken from me. Like, what am I going to do now? And then I just slowly started to heal and work through things and realized I can still do all of those things. They're just gonna be a little different. They're gonna look a little different and that's okay. I'm working two jobs. So I work my full-time job during the day. Then I door dash four nights a week just because like, I mean, it's just my income now, you know? He does help with the kids and obviously financially he does all of that. I don't have to fight him on that now. Um, but <laughs> gave me a little trouble. He gave me a little trouble, but it's fine. I would probably have given trouble too had I seen the number I had to pay for four children. But you know, the decisions you make the bed you make, you gotta lay in it. Anyways, so financially, I have to I have to work a part-time job because I just have to, that I'm trying to save, I'm trying to pay down my debt, I'm trying to like, it's just, it's a lot. It is so much stuff that I'm trying to do and I think the problem was, the reason I had my major like depressive state was like a month ago. Oh, it was so bad, it was so bad. Um, I think because I was in the healing process, so I felt like, have you ever been like, 
if you've been through something like this where like you, you think you're healed but you're really not like you're you're like yeah I'm fine I'm over it I'm good and then you start doing like all this stuff to like change and be better and then it just is so much it's so much that like you're it kicks you back where you're like oh shit I wasn't ready I wasn't ready so that's what kind of happened with me is like I was like I'm fine I'm ready to go I can do this I'm gonna start planning for the future and like it like I just had to be knocked back a second where it was like you're not ready to do all this baby steps tiny steps so that's what I've been doing um, I give myself a lot of grace when I don't get everything done um, I beat myself up for a little bit because I haven't been filming but then I just had to be like listen it's okay so I mean you're exhausted you're tired you're taking care of your kids you're working two jobs so it's just like I had to show myself grace instead of demanding myself to do all of these things when I am supposed to do them I'm going to be posting on Mondays and Fridays I'm thinking about Wednesdays and Fridays because Monday is like right there but for right now I think I'm gonna stick to Mondays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern as always I am not gonna do three days a week I just I cannot commit to three videos a week um, if I find that two is too much I may go down to just Fridays but I'm gonna try to give you guys two videos I'm gonna start mixing in some vlogs and some makeup stuff and some like shopping stuff and just all of the stuff that I used to do all of the time if there are specific videos you want to see like either topic videos review videos crazy game funny videos then leave it down below um and let me know i'll probably do like a series on kind of the process of my divorce and what is happening just to kind of keep you guys in the loop but also to keep me accountable like hey you know look how far you've come so when i look back I can go, if I'm feeling like I haven't really done what I need to do on my journey, I can look back and go look where you were and look where you are. So it's just, it's a lot. I'm going to the gym, me and my son, he comes with me at, he wakes up at 3.50 in the morning to come with me to the gym. I'm all over the place, I need to get it, I just need to get it together. But he comes with me to the gym, so we go to the gym. We're getting gains, bro, we're getting gains. <laughs> I have my cruise. I said that. I'm trying to think of like anything else updatey wise. Like this has been a lot. Like I just kind of dumped on you guys, okay? And this one's probably like the deepest one. Mm -hmm. My eczema. My eczema is like it's still a little there, but it's like non-existent. And let me tell you what. Let me tell all my eczema ladies, okay? If you're going through stress and you realize your eczema is like flaring the fuck up, whatever's causing you the stress, that's the problem. Because since September, my eczema has literally cleared itself up for the most part. I just have a moisturizer on today. And I'm just like, ugh, just another thing. You know, so I'm all open for talking and whatever. Right now, I'm not really looking for like serious things just because I want to just like, I need to heal. I need to get my shit together. So, and I just want to live, man. I just want to live and I want to have fun. I went to my first concert. Oh my God, I almost forgot to tell you guys this. I went to my first concert. I saw Jesse Murph and Charlie on a Friday was there and I love Charlie on a Friday's song enough. It's like literally my anthem since September. Anyways, so I went to my first concert. I went and saw Jesse Murph in Philly and I had the time of my life. I had the absolute fucking time of my life and I can't wait to do those things again and just like I'm just I'm literally I'm I'm so excited about what is what is about to go on in my life for the for a while I was so afraid because I was like I don't I don't do change well okay and I I didn't what what does the world have in store for me? I don't know. I don't know. But looking now, I'm just like, I know I can do it. I know that this is going to be the time of my life. And I'm fucking, I'm fucking ready. Like, I'm so fucking ready. I am free. <laughs> and it's, it has taken a rough road. <laughs> um, to get here but I'm free and I'm so excited I don't know man I'm excited I laugh I laugh more now than I probably ever have and it's a little sad 
but it's also pretty fucking cool. And I, oh my God, I hang out with my cousin like all the time. Amber, she's a fucking trip. You're gonna be seeing a lot of her probably. And she has been like, God, I don't know. I know that I'm a strong person and had I not had her by my side, I would have, I would have succeeded because that is who I am as a person. I am a mother. I am a strong person who knows that I can't give up. There's no giving up. But she has had my back and been there and just making me laugh every step of the way. And it's just like laughter and having fun and being happy has been the fucking best medicine I could ever recommend to somebody. You gotta find like happiness and joy in life even when the shittiest things are happening because believe me <laughs> I get it but all of that laughter every day of just laughing and smiling I'm truly just genuinely happy and I'm excited because I think it's only gonna get better from here I'm going to struggle. Everyone struggles, but mentally and physically, I feel like just better, lighter, you know? I think that's pretty much it for my life update. I mean, that was a lot. Like, pff, dump all the feels. If you're going to be shitty in my comments about divorce or whatever, just go. Like, I will block you and not because like, uh, I just don't, I no longer allow that kind of shit in my life anymore. Um... If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And if you do, I have the right to remove you. Goodbye. But <laughs> feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, obviously any personal questions. I'm probably, I'm going to maybe not respond um, right now just because like I said, I don't want to go into too much of detail. But if you have questions or comments and stuff like that, please put it down below. I have missed you guys so freaking much. I have missed being behind this camera and I'm looking at me like, hey girl, I missed you. And I'm just, I'm excited. And so I think that's it, guys. I really think that's it. Um, I mean, I think that's a lot. It's enough, you know, it's enough. <laughs> but if you made it to the end of this video, if you made it, you're probably someone who has followed me forever. And I just want you to know that I love you and I appreciate you and you are worthy of everything you could ever want and if you are new and you made it to the end of this video please subscribe before you leave and I appreciate you watching my video in all of its crazy messy feelings but as always guys I love you so much I'm so glad to be back I'm gonna see you on Friday I'm gonna be doing like an everyday makeup look I think I think it's on the schedule We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Well, you probably, I mean, you probably didn't enjoy it. It was not a very enjoyable video. But I hope that this video helped you understand where I was, why I left, and your bitch is back. I love you guys. Bye.